all right welcome to my channel guys and today we are going to take a look at few of the brand new Syria tweaks that just got dropped today and I downloaded on my device they're working just fine there is no issue there is no problem and in my opinion there must have Syria tweaks on your jailbroken device now before we start um, uh, start this video and before we uh, dive into uh, these city tweaks please let me ask you guys to subscribe to my channel and also smash that bell icon so you guys get notified when i drop a next video like this now that's out of the way let's get this video started and uh, let me show you guys so the uh, like always we are going to go into uh, Cydia and once we go to Cydia you can go to um, search bar and search for these uh, city tweaks but what i'm going to do i'm going to go into install recent and the first Cydia tweak we are going to take a look at is this one right here. It's called Nice Segular iOS 14. So uh, as you guys can see right there, Nice Segular iOS 14. Now uh, this um, tweak, what you can do, um, you can uh, custom your UI for the Segular uh, calls. And as you guys can see, there's a, a few um, charts, um, screenshots. And also, uh, there is a description right here uh, and um, instruction how to set it up and what you can and what you cannot do with this, this tweak. And also, um, as you guys can see, there is the change logs right here. Each time the um, this up, uh, tweak got updated and as you guys can see, it added more uh, functions and everything else. And also, uh, just want to uh, let you guys know it is comparable with the um, iOS 14.3 uh, um, and below. So now uh, once you download this tweak, all you have to do, go into your uh, settings, go to your um, tweaks. And once you go to your tweaks, and as you guys can see right here, this is the um, tweak that we are going to take a look at it and just open it. And this is the um, uh, this is the interface for this, and there is so much you can uh, customize. So the first option we are going to take a look at is the uh, call bar. Now, if we click on that, you have all these options that you can uh, you know mess with. And also, uh, as you guys can see, you have the uh, section for the FaceTime use cellular, and then you got the global. Uh, system and then you have these right here so let's say we are gonna do a um, we're gonna do this and as you guys can see then you have the uh, space from the bottom so you can uh, use all of that and also you have the um, uh, colors and you can do default light dark or automatic and then you have this one right here you can do landscape um, uh, Lens, uh, landscape style if you click on this you have all these different ones you can match uh, to the um, global setting or you can go back in and then you can change to style one and as you guys can see right here and then you have this option you can do top or you can do bottom and then we scroll down and as you guys can see we have the display control button if we turn this on as you guys can see we have all these settings and then Fixed position of the button, you can turn this on, but I will say just leave it off and then you go into this and then you can do uh, landscape or portrait or you can do the landscape or you can do portrait. So this is really, really awesome. And every time you go into any section and then um, uh, you make any changes, you have to um, respring or you can hit cancel and what this is going to do, and if we go back in, as you guys can see, it didn't save the settings. So we're going to do this, and then we're going to uh, hit apply, hit yes. And what this is going to do, it's going to change the uh, setting that we just changed on our device. So once the device comes back, you go back into the setting, and just like that, um, go back into the uh, uh, nice cellular right here, and then you got the... Uh, uh, spam filter and then you have all these uh, settings for that 
So every time you, uh, now as you guys can see, there's nothing uh, able. So if I able the uh, first one right here, uh, is, let's do that. And then you have all these different settings that you can, uh, you know, choose from and, you know, customize your device. And then you got the message, iMessage switch. So if we turn this on, as you guys can see, you have the uh, settings for that. This application has so much to customize from, and there's so much stuff that you can uh, configure from. And then as you guys can see right here, this option, you can um, uh, flip this and show the um, icons. And as you guys can see, nice bar X iOS 14, uh, 0 .0, uh, 1.0.0.7 and layer supported the uh, system icon uh, function uh, toggling the code that so you know this message right here and please turn it off yes and then you have all these uh, messages as you guys can see we got the call icon then we got the message icon and then you can customize the um, icons with these grabbers right here and then you can uh, offset with this grabber I'm gonna leave it on the default and then uh, if we head back, you have to respring, uh, able for that to uh, that change to take effect. And there you go. And now we're gonna go back into the setting, go into tweaks, and then we're gonna go back into the nice segler. And now next one, as you guys can see, you got the um, uh, this one right here, location T9 dialer. If we click on that, as you guys can see, you have all these different settings to mess with and there's so much for this as well and you can choose from and then same thing for uh, next section right here call recorder now if we click on that now this is really important I want you guys to pay attention as you guys can see um, able voice recording and then you can click on this right here and this is a new feature and you can set uh, what uh, level you want the um, uh, voice to be recorded and then as you guys can see, use mic uh, pickup. So uh, when you uh, when no phone calls are um, made and no music is played, uh, a microphone will uh, use to record elements uh, sounds if the recording function is turned on uh, manually. So you can flip that for that. And then uh, you got the automatic recording. And then, as you guys can see right here, applications. Now, applications, now you can give the permission which application you want uh, to uh, record. So we're going to click on this. And as you guys can see, you got the FaceTime, you got the Tele Honey, and then you got the Messenger, you got the Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. So all these applications, you can record a call, and not just the uh, phone uh uh, like regular calls or FaceTime, you can record the Messenger, the Insta uh, Instagram, Twitter, and the Facebook. So this is really, really awesome option uh, in uh, one tweak. So as you guys can see, you can do uh, this uh, uh, record bell. You can uh, say uh, don't show or always or show by uh, candidate. So as you guys can see, there's a description for this. And then you have the show uh, record button. You can turn that on. Fix position of the button. I'll leave it off. Um, that way you can actually adjust the button wherever you want to put it on your home screen. And then uh, recording icon. You can click on this and change the uh, color. So this is the your, this is your color picker. So you can pick the uh, your favorite color of the button, and it will, as you guys can see, right there. So just like that and then you can go right here uh, view the record, uh, recorded file if I click on that and that's where you're gonna your all the uh, recorded file going to show up so just like that and we're gonna go back here yes and then the next one is utility right here and as you guys can see you have so many option to configure for the utility as well there's so much you can uh, mess with and you can change the UIs, you can change so much from this. And uh, this, this is the thing I don't like, that every time you go into any section, you have to respring for you to able to exit. If you don't do that, it will uh, 
not save your as uh, you know setting that you made and we're gonna go back in and the nice regular and as you guys can see uh, there's other tweaks right here you can go from here to other tweaks and I think that's all for this tweak and we're gonna go back into the city again I'm gonna show you guys the next one this these uh, city tweaks are really really awesome I'm telling you guys they, they are must have on your jailbroken device so we just talked about the um, nice cellular iOS 14 now the next one we are going to talk about is the nice log X iOS 13 and 14 and as you guys can see right there so with this basically um, you can change the UI for your um, for your key uh, keyboard and as you guys can see there's so much that you can do with this and uh, also uh, this description right here explain explain to you and instruction uh, how to set it up and everything and what you can do once you um, download this go to your uh, setting and go to your tweak section and it's going to be this one right here nice log uh, 13 and 14 as you guys can see pursuit and shortcut key setting and as you guys can see there is so much option you have option to configure from and once you uh, do just save the um, respring your device and it will take effect and also next one is the translation setting if we click on that as you guys can see you have so much to uh, choose from and there's so many uh, setting that you have to mess with and as you guys can see the uh, I can show you guys this right here you can choose uh, the translation uh, Google China Google global or the uh, Baidu uh, tra transaction uh, uh, tra translation and there's so much and then also you got the text split and as you guys can see you have a few settings for that and then you got the utility and if we do this as you guys can see disable system um, after copying uh, with iOS 14 a pop-up uh, notification will be displayed that the contact was copied from the XX application and then this function can disable uh, this prompt so that's up to you if you want to do that and as you guys can see there's so many options with this too and just because there's so many options um, for these uh, tweaks and that's why I'm going so fast I just want to cover uh, all the tweaks in this uh, you know video but what I'm thinking about is I'm gonna make a separate um, videos on uh, these tweaks I'm gonna uh, you know uh, pick one tweak uh, and then make a video and um, set it up and go through all the option with you guys and uh, and this I just want to put all these in one video so you guys can um, have it and also if you guys have any question or concern please let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you guys as soon as possible and now we're gonna go move on to the next one and the next one going to be is this one right here it's called uh, nice power uh, iOS 11 iOS 14 so as you guys can see this one basically is to Bluetooth headset AirPods uh, external battery level display and as you guys can see uh, the picture right here uh, that's the UI you get uh, and you can display anywhere on your uh, screen and once you download this just go to your uh, uh, settings go to your tweaks and it is going to be this one right here as you guys can see this is the uh, once you open up this is the uh, interface and then what you want to do is go into this setting right here and then you have as you guys can see that you have so much um, option to configure from and also as you guys can see you can do uh, select a device and iPhone is turned on um, when you uh, when your device is uh, connected to your uh, phone it will uh, appear here and you will um, you can uh, configure it so right now I don't have anything connected to my phone that's why you can see it's only showing as a phone but if there was any airpods or apple watch or anything connected to my phone it will show up 
uh, right here and uh, because I don't have connected to this phone so that's why nothing is showing and then the next uh, as you guys can see display area you can click on this and you can do um, just the lock screen you can do home screen or you can do in app so for me as selected on uh, uh, all of these three options and then you can do the uh, left right uh, center or right and then you got the spacing you got width you got height left top and then you got the uh, bg corner and then uh, there's so much option that you can uh, configure from and once you uh, pick your favorite uh, uh, you know a setting all you have to do hit apply and it will take effect and that's about it uh, for this week and let's go into the Cydia and take a look at the next uh, tweak. And next one we're, we're going to take a look at is Nice iOS, as you guys can see right here. And with this, uh, what you can do is basically uh, this is an app with the UI interface, and uh, it only has one function on which is to open the weather background positioning service for nice bar x if you are using nice bar x you can only um you can uh, uh install uh this app to open the weather background location uh, function after installing please open the app in home so basically uh it, it give you that uh you know i explained to you there's instruction you can read through and also once you download this Go to your uh, setting, go to your um, tweak section, and then go into, scroll down, and then you will see, so it's going to be this one right here, a nice bar X, you have to install that, um, and then once you download this, as you guys can see, I downloaded, I didn't, um, uh, you know, open it. So this is the first time I'm opening it, as you guys can see, nice bar X. Um, the latest uh, version is uh, 1.0.0.9. And as you guys can see, it gave you the it's really nice, uh, you know, uh, welcome screen. And as you guys can see, um, explain to you how to uh, add, how to make it work. And then all you have to do, uh, hit that off right here button and then you go through all these settings so you got the time setting then you got the weather setting then you got the battery setting network uh, net speed and then you got the system uh, carrier cellular other uh, module so as you guys can see each section you go into there's so much uh, you know option to configure from there is i mean there's no limit like there's limit limitless um, option that you can mess with and you can uh, choose so much stuff for this as you guys can see right here and this is really really nice and this give you so much option to configure from and customize your device the way you guys want and every single thing in your device so I think that's all for this video um and i just want to say th uh, again if you guys have any question or concern please do not hesitate to ask me in the uh, comments below i'll be happy to uh, get back to you guys as soon as possible and now the last thing i just want to say please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also smash that bell icon so you guys don't miss any videos in the future that's been said thank you so much and i'll see you guys in the next video